Minneapolis, Minnesota. His professional record early in his career stands at four victories against two defeats with two victories by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Patrick the Raging Bull K. And across the ring, his adversary, fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trimmed in red and weighed in tonight at 155 pounds. As a world-class amateur in 2007, already the two-time National Golden Gloves champion and a two-time amateur boxing champion, he would take silver in the Pan American Games before becoming the first U.S. boxer since 1999 to become a world amateur champion. Paul, Paul then in 2008, as the reigning world champion, he would travel to the games in Beijing, China to represent his United States. And now... Ladies and gentlemen, the fighter widely considered to be the number one professional prospect from Team USA, making his professional boxing debut from Providence, Rhode Island, introducing the U.S. Olympian, Demetrius Andre. Paul Field will be our referee, and uh, poor Patrick Cape has uh, been made to wait and cool his heels for a long Gentlemen, time here. Yeah, he sure has, but look, he knows what his role is here. Doesn't mean he's necessarily going to play it. Keep it clean. Good luck to both. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's a win-win for Patrick Cape. You could say he was in there with a guy who could be a potential champion. He does have a winning record, four That's up right. and two down. Heck, why do we know the name Tony Hunsicker? That, exactly right. Well, why do we know it? Because <laughs> he fought Cassius Clay yes, he's, in right. his first pro fight many years ago. Demetrius Andre is a really exciting fighter once, once he gets his hands going. He's a southpaw, sometimes a slow starter, but I'm telling you, this guy can put some punches together. Right. I know you've seen him as well. Very skilled fighter. <laughs> Says he wants to look to be a champion in about three years. Good right hand and uppercut. Wow. Cape cannot get out of his own way right now. I think he's going to be a successful pro debuter in a matter of minutes here. Cape slipped a right hand in, something to remember. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough kid. I mean, look, he, he's, he's limited in experience, probably limited in skills, but, you know, he started in what they call tough man competitions in Minnesota. Fought some tough kids as an amateur. Sure has never seen anything like Demetrius Andrew. No. Anyone who hits as hard nor as quick. You know, it's really a shame that Olympic boxing has fallen as far as it has because, you know, 20, 30 years ago, a kid like Demetrius Andrade would be very, very well known to the American sporting public by now. Yeah, no, all you have to do is look back to 1976. American Absolutely. Olympic. That's correct. And I think nothing has hastened that good left hand there by Andrade and another one has hastened that as, as much as the, the scoring system. It just made the sport just so unpalatable, even to the networks, that, uh, that Olympic boxers just don't get the kind of exposure they used to get. Yeah, it's absolutely true. And a fighter has to change his style so much. Yeah. It's no longer a good proving ground for pros. It's, it's like two different sports. You know, potential pros. It's not, like, it's not like a minor league anymore. It was a great left hand to the body by Andre while I was carrying on. <laughs> Cape just can't seem to relax and knows he's in there with a buzzsaw. Yeah, I think he's kind of at a loss. Like, you know, what do I do next? He actually snuck in a right hand there. He's only fought one southpaw, Cape told us today, and he did lose to him. He lost the decision. Says it wasn't necessarily the style, but he's not coping with the style here all that well. He's a guy who works a full-time job. He's married. He's got a kid. Does his running. Does his gym at night. Yeah, you know he's got he's got a full plate. He really does. Good body shot. And that one hurt. Yeah, that one definitely hurt him. 
And he will take a knee, and I'm not sure if he's going to make it here. He is throwing some pain. Nine, you okay? He's going to get the minute rest. All right, round's over. Round's over. That was a huge shot. And I think the referee was considering waving it off right there, and then he realized that he does get the 60-second rest, and we'll see how he recovers from it. Be nice if they gave him the stool. Be nice if they brought the stool into his corner. And he is still breathing heavy and feeling that. Did he sign you there or did he hit you off? I'm in rear. I certainly hit him with, with a left hand to the ribs. Hey, we'll take a look at what, I mean, there's no doubt, it's corner after he got hit low, and you'll see right here, he certainly did not get hit low. First of all, he was clubbing him here while he, with one hand free, and then there, you saw it right there, the left hand and those floating ribs. Very painful shot. And he is still in some pain. I'll tell you this about Andre, he's learned some pro techniques already. When you have one hand free, you keep it going. was a huge shot and right in the right place. And I cannot believe he didn't sit down at all in that round, in between rounds there. Maybe he didn't want to. You done? Be busier, man. Be busier, man. He's still hurting from that. You can kind of see him reach down and claw yeah. that. It's a brutal sport, but Andre, you would think, would go right back to that. Well, I'm sure he will. Really, no room for mercy at this point. Oh, left oh, hand man. knocked him down. And that's it. And you know what? Good call. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Non competitive fight. And now it's over. And he wants to go. He's a game kid, but man, he, he really got hurt by that body shot, and there's really no point to it. So. Not much that you could say about uh, Demetrius Andrade. That really did the damage. Yeah, and you'll see this left hook. It's kind of a lunging shot, and he catches him on the end of the punch. But at this point, Patrick Cape's got no real legs under him. Balance is not good. And uh, the right call by Paul Field. I mean, no doubt about it. No, I think so, too. And even though that was, I'm sure his legs just got tangled up. That yeah, time. but. He could have gone on, but why? It's not like he was going to get up and, and win by knockout. This, no, uh, exactly. This was going to have a bad end for him.